Hey guys, it's Richard back with another tutorial. Um, so last time we left off and we converted all our smiles to PDB files in order to pre prepare them for auto docking. Now um, we want to convert them to PDBQT. So we're, that PDBQT conversion adds um, basically hydrogens, um, and then that will allow us to predict, you know, OH bonds and uh, where our ligand will auto dock and how well. So. Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to add to our pipeline, make a directory pdbqt, and then we want to add another bash file and keep it clean, make it a separate file, call it pdbqtconverter.sh. Cool, so that's done. So when this executes, we'll run a bash and uh, do PDB converter, um, pdbqt converter. So um, I'll do I'll create a new file called s and open it with uh, Sublime. Okay, so now I want to go through all the files in here and um, convert them to PDBQT. So, what I'm going to do first is I'll do, f uh, first of all, I have to call my file, I have to say that it's a bash file. So, slash bin slash bash, oops. Then I'll loop through all the files in that directory. So, we'll do for ligand in and then we make a variable out of it we, we, we execute this first so we'll do ls um, so we list all the files in PD, the directory pdb so that's uh, this guy here slash and then we'll do star so star means anything before this any any characters and then dot .pdb, so any files that end in pdb, so there can be, a, the star represents anything, it's a wild card. Uh, so any files with this ending dot .pdb, we want them and we'll list them. So we'll have that, and then just so I can demonstrate what this does, we'll, uh, we'll do do, then we'll do echo ligand, remember to put the dollar sign in front, and then we do done. And let's do it, um, let's do bash pdbqt converter dot sh should work oh whoops misspelled it there we go cool so it lists all the file names now we want to clean it up a bit because we'll only want that we all, we only want to save this part dot pdbqt we don't want to save dot pdb dot qt so what we're going to do is we're going to do ligand clean equals um, echo. Uh, whoops. So these mean that this, these two things, the two um, apostrophes basically mean um, that you execute everything within them before outputting to this variable, basically. So First, we're going to echo ligand. So, while it's within these parentheses, it's still a variable. So it's it's as if we're outputting to the terminal, but when you put a pipe, so this is called a pipe, it outputs to whatever is after the pipe. So, in this case, we'll do cut because we want to clean it up. We'll do cut minus d, and then we want to remove everything after the uh, everything before the slash. So we'll do cut, and minus d means our delimiter. So we'll do that. Okay, and then we'll take f2. So we want to keep f2, because f2 is the second half of this. So we'll keep this whole part. But we also want to remove the dot .pdb. So we'll, further, we'll keep outputting, and we'll do this. Then we'll do cut minus d, and then our delimiter will be our period, minus f1. So this time we're keeping F1, so we're only keeping this. So if we run it, oops, okay. Um, let's try it. Okay, nothing outputted because I didn't put a print statement. So we'll do echo ligand underscore clean. Okay. So um, it's still outputting PDB slash Campbell ID, and I think that might be because it's not recognizing this. So maybe if we do, uh, right? Okay, let's see. 
maybe like this. No, okay. Oh, that's because I'm doing the wrong one. It's, uh, it should be like this, I think. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. Uh, I don't know what this is doing here, so delete that. Oh, I think it, uh, yeah. Basically, in our, when we did our conversion from our smiles, so maybe if we look at it here, yeah, it takes, yeah, it takes the first, um, it takes the first f uh, column from our CSV file. So this is our curated ligand list. So it's taking this column. So I'll show you guys what you can do about that so you don't keep that thing. So what we'll do is, I'll go to Sublime. In our bash file, after this is done, you do something called rm and then minus r, um, cmpd underscore Campbell ID dot PDB and this will remove this file we won't have to worry about it anymore you can do lots of other things to do this you can skip the first row if you're reading the Excel file with a Python file uh, this is pretty simple to do as well then okay so we have this we're echoing our clean ligand now we go to we again we're gonna use open babel because this is the command line converter We'll do open o babel, um, so this should work. Uh, you do minus i, so that's our input pdb. That's our input type. Then we do um, we do our directory. So we want to use ligand, not ligand clean. And again, we have to use our dollar sign. And then uh, we have to put our output type, so pdbqt. And then our output name will be ligand uh, ligand clean. So we'll put it like this, dot pdbqt. So I'm not sure if I need to put brackets here, but maybe, yeah, I don't think so. OK, so let's try to run this. Yeah, so it converted all the molecules. It didn't convert CMPD Campbell ID. So let's see. Oh, right. So it put them all in this directory because we didn't run it through the pipeline. But we have all these files as uh, pdb.qts. So, um, yeah. Uh, okay, so now we could run the pipeline and we can actually see that it'll make this directory and um, it'll, oh. So this will all execute. Okay. So this will execute sequentially. But however, if you wanted to exec execute two Python files, one after another, then you would put, I think, two of these, and then you would do Python 3, whatever, uh, .py here. And these would e execute sequentially. But these bash files, this one has to finish executing before uh, we go on to this. And then this one has to execute fully before we continue. So that's not a problem. So if we do bash pipeline.sh, uh, so it'll have to, it's going to want to convert. So actually, maybe we can't do that. Oh, we can just comment this out for now. Our CSV cleaner will run. That's not a problem. And then we'll go. And we've converted everything. So pdbqt. Oh, it did not. Okay, so see that's why you have to run these kinds of tests. Um, what happened was we in our pdbq pdbqt converter dot clean. What we didn't do was pdbqt slash, so we needed to put the right path. Let's try it again. Let's see our errors. Cannot create directory, file exists. Okay, that's fine. So the make directory is there if you're running this for the first time. Cannot remove this because it doesn't exist. So what's the right name? CMPD underscore Campbell ID dot PDB. Okay, because it was it was not converted. So in the pipeline we can do this. Okay, and we'll go here, we'll delete PDBQT. Let's run again. So it's still CMPT 
Not Campbell ID, no such file. Oh, of course. Okay. So again, it's important to keep your know where your directories are. So uh, it's going to be in pdb slash Campbell ID. Uh, so still we're having this problem. Maybe it has to be the PDB. There we go. So it's no longer a problem. And we got all our PDB QT files. Yeah, and it overwrites every time, I believe. Uh, so yeah, so we have our PDB QT files. Now the other thing we want is our TRK receptor. We want it converted into PDB QT so we can dock it.